Welcome back to Bitcoin Dorks, your daily source of news and updates on the world of cryptocurrencies. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the recent spike in search results on MEX, one of the leading cryptocurrency exchanges in the world for two tokens, GPT and Veer. This sudden interest in these tokens comes at a time when the US is facing a banking crisis. First, let's take a closer look at GPT. GPT, or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, is an advanced language model developed by OpenAI. It uses artificial intelligence to generate human-like text and can understand natural language queries. GPT has already been used in various applications including chatbots and language translation tools. Now, let's move on to Nvir. Nvir is a cryptocurrency token used on the Novira platform. The Novira platform is a decentralized knowledge sharing platform that uses blockchain technology to facilitate secure and transparent transactions. The platform connects individuals and organizations looking for knowledge with experts who can provide them with relevant information. So, what is the connection between these two tokens and the US banking crisis? The banking crisis in the US has been brewing for a while now. The COVID-19 pandemic caused widespread economic disruption resulting in job losses and loan defaults. This led to a rise in non-performing assets for banks which are struggling to maintain profitability due to historically low interest rates set by the Federal Reserve. As a result, many banks in the US are facing a liquidity crisis and some experts predict that we could see a wave of bank failures in the near future. The situation is dire, and banks are looking for ways to reduce costs and improve efficiency to survive the crisis. This is where GPT and Veer come in. GPT has the potential to automate a wide range of tasks that are currently performed by humans in the banking industry. This includes tasks such as customer support, fraud detection, and even risk assessment. By using GPT to automate these tasks banks can significantly reduce their operating costs and improve their efficiency. This, in turn, can help them weather the current crisis and remain competitive in the long run. On the other hand, Nvir has the potential to disrupt traditional banking systems by providing a more democratic and transparent way of sharing and accessing knowledge. As we mentioned earlier, the lack of transparency and reluctance to share information is a major problem in the banking industry. With a platform like Novira, users can access a wide range of knowledge and expertise from individuals all around the world. This can help them make more informed decisions about their finances and investments without having to rely on traditional banking institutions. Furthermore, Nvir's use of blockchain technology means that all transactions on the platform are transparent and secure, reducing the risk of fraud and corruption. While the potential of GPT and Nvir is certainly exciting, it's important to remember that these are still early days for these technologies. Both GPT and Nvir have a long way to go before they can be widely adopted by the banking industry. However, the fact that they are generating so much interest on a leading cryptocurrency exchange like MEX is a clear indication that people are starting to take notice of the potential that these technologies have to offer. But what does the future hold for GPT and Veer? Will they be able to disrupt the traditional banking industry and help banks weather the current crisis? Let's take a closer look. GPT has already been used in various applications including chatbots and language translation tools. In the banking industry, GPT can be used to automate various tasks such as customer support and fraud detection which can significantly reduce costs and improve efficiency. In addition, GPT can be used to analyze customer data and provide personalized services to customers. This can help banks improve customer satisfaction and retention which is essential for long-term success. As for Nvir, the Novira platform has the potential to revolutionize the way people access and share knowledge about the financial industry. By connecting individuals and organizations with experts from around the world, Nvir can provide users with valuable insights that they might not be able to get from traditional banking institutions. Furthermore, the platform's use of blockchain technology means that all transactions are secure and transparent, which can help build trust and credibility in the financial industry. This could potentially lead to a more open and collaborative financial ecosystem, which benefits everyone involved. Of course, there are also potential challenges and obstacles that GPT and Veer will have to overcome if they want to succeed in the banking industry. One of the biggest challenges will be convincing banks to adopt these technologies. Many banks are notoriously conservative when it comes to adopting new technologies and they might be reluctant to invest in something that is still relatively unproven. In addition, there could be regulatory hurdles to overcome as regulators might be hesitant to allow AI and blockchain technology to be used in the financial industry. Another challenge will be ensuring that these technologies are secure and free from vulnerabilities. As we've seen with other cryptocurrencies and blockchain-based systems there is always the risk of hacking and theft. Banks will want to ensure that these risks are minimized before they adopt these technologies. 
Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of GPT and VIR are too great to ignore. If these technologies can be successfully adopted by the banking industry they could significantly reduce costs, improve efficiency, and provide users with more transparent and collaborative financial services. In conclusion, the recent spike in search results for GPT and VIR on MEXC is a clear indication that these technologies are starting to gain traction in the financial industry. While it's still early days for these technologies their potential to revolutionize the banking industry cannot be ignored. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how these technologies continue to develop and how they are adopted by banks and financial institutions. Will they be embraced as a solution to the current crisis or will they face resistance from those who are reluctant to change? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure the world of finance is undergoing a period of rapid change and those who are willing to embrace new technologies and adapt to the changing landscape are the ones who will come out on top. That's all for today's episode of Bitcoin Dorks. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time with more news and updates from the world of cryptocurrencies.